Hey guys, it's Mr. G, and in this video, I'm going to continue where I left off with Unit 4, Lab 3, Page 3, and I'm going to focus just on Take It Further A. So what we want to do in Take It Further A is we want to make sure that when we shift the Unicode values that we end up with all like letters. So even if you shift uh, capital Z by 1, you don't end up with, so look over here, Instead of shifting capital Z by one and ending up with an open brace or open bracket, you bring Z right back to A. So we got to figure out a way to make sure that the Unicode values, when 90 adds, when you add one to 90, it ends up at 65. So how are we going to do that? Well, what I'm going to do first, because I have a hard time kind of like visualizing these numbers, like 65 is A and 90 is Z, and I'm going to focus only on uppercase. What I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 65. So when I get a letter, an uppercase letter only, I'm going to subtract 65 from its Unicode value so that me as a computer scientist, I can work with the numbers 0 through 25 instead. Okay? Now, I'm only going to show you uppercase, but for lowercase, if you wanted to do the same process, you would have to subtract uh, by 97. So you're going to have to see if it's a lowercase letter. If it is, subtract 97 if you want to use this technique. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use mod. Now, the way that mod works is that if you mod uh, a large number by a small number, so if I do, let's say, 0 mod 26... I'm going to end up with zero. That's what the, the mod function will return. If I do one mod 26, I'm going to end up with one. Okay? Now, this is useful because if I, let's say, if I want to, if I want to convert this right back to uppercase Unicode, all I got to do is add 65, and I am right back where I started at A. So zero is A, one is plus 65 is B, and this is going to be really useful because let's say I'm looking at the letter Z. And I'm going to tell you why. The reason I modded by 26 is because that's how many characters there are in the alphabet that I'm going to be looking at. Um, so if I have uh, the number 25, 25 is going to be uppercase Z. And if, I, if you just think about it, 25 plus 65 will take me right back to Z. But if I mod 25 by 26, I end up with the number 25. Okay? Now think about this. Think how cool this is. If I then, if I add, let's say I shift capital Z by 1. All right? So I'm going to end up with 26. So let me just make this red so you guys can see that it's different now. 26 mod 26 is going to be 0, okay? Now, if you remember from before, 0 happens to be the letter A. So this is cool because I can take any, any Unicode value, uppercase letter, and as long as I shift it, so I take the Unicode value, subtract 65, and then I can add whatever the shift is, and it's go if I mod it by 26, it's going to give me the correct sh uh, letter. So, for example, uh, let's let me give you another example. Let's say I use Z, okay, which we know is going to be number 25 after we subtract 65, okay. And I want to shift it by two. So if I shift it by two, I take that 25, I add two. And that's going to equal 27. Okay, so if you remember this, if we're going to add 2, it should end up equaling B, capital B, um, after we add 65 back to it. But what happens is, if you do 27 mod 26, you end up with the value, the remainder, the way mod works, is you end up with the remainder of 1. And then when you take that 1 and you add 65, you get 66 so Unicode 66, which is going to equal uppercase B. Now, I realized what I just did was kind of crazy. And I kind of did something unnecessary in that I subtracted 65 first. But I just, I just prefer to do that because it's much easier for me to visualize 0 to 25 as A through Z. Okay? So I hope that was a pretty good hint without me completely giving you guys the answer and having your teachers flip out at me again. 
Um, but if you use this, if you create the code, you should be thinking, hey, you should be looking at every single letter in like a, a message to encode. And you can't use for each because for each only works with lists. So unless you split up your, your, your uh, message by like into a list of characters, then you're not going to be able to use lists uh, for each, I should say. Um, so maybe you might want to use another block that can iterate through, I don't know, a bunch of letters, maybe until the, until the end of the length of the word. Uh, if that's a good enough hint, I'm not quite sure. But this is my strategy of making sure that when I wrap around, I am able to keep the letters keep, or keep my, my encoded letters to, as letters and not just like some random characters that are just create like a jarbled up mess. All right, so I hope this was helpful, even though I know it's very confusing. This is my strategy of like, you know, making this a little bit easier to understand or like giving you guys a hint uh, at how to figure this out. So uh, let me know in the comments below if you were able to succeed with this help. If not, or if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment and I will try to give you guys hints without giving you answers.